the the biggest lesson to me was Anthony, be true to yourself. Like you are different because when I first started in Christian music, I was too soulful for CCM, too CCM for gospel. I was right in this middle ground that didn't make sense to the industry. And so I had to, in order to fit the industry, I had to not be true to myself in one way or another. But I was told by people around me and watched people like Andre Crouch, who I'm like, they were being true to themselves. And there's nothing like, um, now I didn't know that God was birthing a whole thing. I mean, it's, it's a whole long story of what's happened because I decided to just be true to myself. But um, that was what I learned from pe- watching people like my dad and Andre Crouch. And, and it's like, you may not fit the mold of what an industry says, but don't go try to chase that mold because you leaving your calling to fit that mold will be the most miserable place you've ever been in in your life. <laughs> so so um, that was one, some of the valuable lessons I learned um, to not abandon your what calling is, for the sake of fitting in. What is a way that you've been able to already to pass along that amazing truth? And I, I'm sure it's something you have to continue to walk out because once you learn it, it doesn't mean that, well, I'm done. No. I have to learn my lessons over and over again. I'm, I hope you're better than I am. But um, is there a way that you have been able to pass on this lesson, even with people that you work with on a uh, on a weekly basis? I know not just a worship leader, you are obviously an artist, um, uh, perhaps to family members. Uh, have yeah. you have you seen it passed along? Yeah, actually, I just on a, on a very personal and mic and. Um, micro level, not just from a stage, but this actually is considered a big deal to me. I, I like FaceTimed my nephews yesterday and was giving, talking to my 18 year old nephew about how being different is, is the most amazing thing you can be really like you having a, a trail that you are blazing is, is beautiful. At first it's hard because you get cut and you can't find your way through. But as you continue walking, blazing that trail becomes easier. And you're also clearing a path for people who, who are going to end up walking in your footsteps, who are going to be coming behind you. And I want um, my audiences from a stage or me FaceTiming my nephew to understand the value of the value in being unique and the value in being brave and the value in being courageous as related to your specific calling. If my dad was not courageous, there would be no, there would be no global ministry if he was not courageous in blazing a trail and understanding that, yo, God's called me this way. It's not cleared out yet, but I'm going to continue to walk one step at a time in this direction. Mm-hmm.